Good morning kids, today we're checking out a brand new video from Kanye X about how some of these Digimon should be armor evolutions, but are just not. Let's hop in and see who was, should have been armorized. Or who should become, not, man. Ah, forget it. Let's joke over, go what on. What's up, digital companions? My name is Khan EX, and welcome back to another video. And as the title gives away, I'm going to be talking today about Digimon that, in my opinion, look like they should be armored Digimon. They have all the traits or elements that just look like existing armored Digimon. But I'm not yeah, alone. They I it. did ask for the help of my wonderful YouTube channel members, which, you know, you can become one if you want early access to videos. So we're just going to be talking about a bunch <laughs> of Digimon on, that I and the channel members all kind of just think should be armors, or at least should exist as their current role and then maybe also as armors this is the least serious video i've made all year this is just funsies if you disagree fine. i, don't, like, I don't feel that strongly about any of this but it would be cool there are going to be three at the end that i do feel pretty strongly about but we'll get to those when we get to it so i'm kicking things off with like all the golden digimon <laughs> ever ah uh, yes <laughs> things like Grademon, crossmon metal life coagamon maybe omni shoutmon zeke graymon these all exist and... in their own continuities and all have a reason i wouldn't technically count omni shoutmon as as an armor evolution and because uh you, you know what no 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 i i could see it i could see it and but zeke uh, graymon this one would should just be hey you know it should just stay as like its own uh evolution of the metal graymon that we already have like you go from silver to gold to exist and oh, indeed no, even a have a reason to be golden go. but they just all kind of look like destiny and miracles golden armor digivolutions to me when we actually look at the miracles and destiny golden armor digivolutions huh. fuzzy comics is very busy right now but one day we will return to fixing armor digivolutions it's just on hiatus oh, oh no, don't worry man. about it crossmon looks way more like it should be a golden armor digivolution to me than peacockmon now that's not to say that golden digimon should inherently be golden armor digivolutions they might just use gold digizoid or something exactly. not related to the digi egg but it would the gold digizoid that's what i was saying for zeke graymon on the, like uh, a metal graymon slide evolves into zeke graymon giving him the golden digichrome boom be really cool to use these golden digimon in those contexts hell fang longmon is very golden and the sovereigns have this connection to the digimental or the digi eggs established by adventure in zero two i'm not talking nice. about removing their status as existing digimon and the way they fit into digivolution lines branches and groups but rather also adding an armor element to them so maybe one day in a video game a digimon could golden armor digivolve to fang longmon grademon crossmon <laughs> though i'm thinking about really? a card game and a fang longmon hold on hold on hold on you actually think a Dracomon should be able to almost digivolve into Feng Longmong, who is literally the leader of the Digital Sovereigns. I could see that maybe happening for, um, you know, something like Metal Greymon or, you know, a big old dragon. But a rookie becoming the penultimate of the Digital Sovereigns? I don't see that happening, Con. I don't see that happening could armor purge might be a little bit too OP. <laughs> there is a suggestion by channel member Errant Harpy who said Lekismon and yeah I can really see Lekismon as an armor digivolution. Mean, it's the champion form of Lunamon and totally works as a Lunamon evolution but I could also see it fitting in alongside other armor digivolution like Rabbitmon. The moon theme in general mm. could tie in to I maybe the Digi Egg of Light or even the Digi Egg of Friendship and with that specifically blue coloration on top of the pink body yeah I do get armor digivolution vibes specifically from Friendship, though it could kind of go anywhere and because it has that armored headpiece but it's not a full-on body coated in armor i can definitely see how lunamon or even cutemon could armor digivolve to lekismon oh Great yeah shout i can see that i can see that we're talking about slightly awkward champion stages let's talk about pale Dramon, suggested by chaos dude 7111 and you know i can kind of <laughs> see this too it's obviously a blue Comon champion but it is quite diminutive for a champion kind of feeling like a 1.5 stage yeah. i often mistake chris pale Dramon for 5. being a champion and pale Dramon for being more blue Comon, if i'm honest so can't you just imagine like agumon or vmon with maybe the digi egg of friendship getting an ice evolution especially with the darker blue uh, underbody and the ice armor on top it's kind of frustrating to me actually i can actually see that being more of like uh depending on the situation because you know friendship is already connected with lightning but it does have a connection with ice because of Gobamon. 
And so maybe depending on the situation or the way it's used, it could then allow the Digimon to then digivolve or armorize into an ice form instead of a lightning form. Um, eh, you never know. Digiega friendship is so thunder based and the Digiega reliability is so water based because looking at their adventure counterparts Garurumon, Metal Garurumon, Zudamon, Vikemon, Ikakumon that ice theme could apply to either of them too and doesn't really happen in the armors the only real qualifiers being friendship armor Digimon Togemogumon grows ultra low temperature ice crystals and Rinkmon yeah, is really lightning bolt themed but does have ice skates so I guess it counts so I'd love to see ice come through oh, like this and yeah Paledramon really would work Though, obviously, when you compare it to Blue Komon, it's a very obvious evolution. Kind of like how I said in the intro with those gold Digimon, they get to exist in their own context, but also get to exist as armor Digimon, add a qualifier rather than taking one away. Pale Digimon as a friendship or reliability armor Digimon evolution in the I future would it. be great. The real oop, oop. Hold on, folks. Be right back. And we're back. Tenmon. I don't really know how I feel about this one. I think in my mind, it specifically would be like an armor fusion. I've talked about this concept a few that. times. Like how Sagittarius Mon, even though it's a Hope Armor Digivolution, also feels like a combination of Flame Drumon and Rage Drumon. Tenmon would is. be a great way to combine Shurimon with Halsamon. If those two DNA digivolved or the armors combined, a Samurai Bird would be definitely a potential form that could result from it. Plus, oh, you know, it's literally doubt. armored, and I feel like that is a big qualifier that sometimes Digimon forgets about armor digivolution you, you know speaking of digimon that that's aren't all. really armored but do look like armor digimon we got lynxmon we got salamandamon they are courage armor digivolutions but flareismon isn't <laughs> caitlin thomas what pointed this out and yeah it's a great point flareismon does kind of look like it could be a courage armor digivolution hell it's got Maybe. an armor headpiece could definitely see this being specifically the courage armor digivolution for agumon and flareismon oh, does have what? its now dark counterpart it. in dark rizamon which would connect really nicely into agumon becoming skull Greymon, Virus Metal Greymon, and the Adventure Cannon. It's so surprising to me that Lynxmon is a Courage Armor Digivolution, usually used for <laughs> Gatomon as well, which again works so nicely if Flareismon Bile is made in Armor Plus Team, cat. as that would mean that the Kamiya siblings Armor Digimon both are engulfed by the Flames of Courage. Very cool. I really like this idea, especially yeah, in the bad. context of the Digimon Adventure Cannon. I think Flareismon as a Courage Armor Digivolution is long overdue. This is what I'm not really sure how I feel <laughs> about, but Ahoy I'm Hark has said Runamon has to be some kind of a friendship evo and yeah Run i don't disagree oh. but maybe that's just because it looks like Ragermon. it's even posed exactly the same as Ragermon in its official art so and in my mind it bare minimum is a actual there is a connection but it's very faint like other than a pose and lightning themes though it, it's it's extremely faint it's there but faint reference to Ragermon. This is not coincidental. It can't be. Unless someone just got really lazy and reused their art, which is definitely possible. <laughs> I will say, though, Click, while it does have a lightning paste. theme, that to me is much more of a vital bracelet thing than a Digiega friendship exclusive thing. The green and black is not a million miles away from the blue and black of Ragermon and the Digiega friendship. And as Redditor Skyfire the Robot pointed out, Harrismon plus the Digiega friendship, I actually legitimately oh. can see resulting now in that's Runamon. Good. Maybe not one that I would have picked, but one that I do see admirable arguments for. Looping back to my kind of yearning for more ice elements in either the Digiega Friendship or the Digiega of Reliability, the Frozomon. Honestly, feels like it could be an evolution of Submarimon. A branch I quite like the idea of is Submarimon becoming Frozomon, gaining an mm. ice land form, and then Aegistramon, who's kind of a sea and sky Digimon. Some people in that my comments, cool. a very vocal minority, keep insisting to me that Aegistramon doesn't fly. Why's it got wings then? Why are they flapping? Come on. But yeah, Frozomon Why to does me, it fly then? Why does it fly? could be a champion pretty <laughs> easily. And with its little beard it even evokes Vikemon to me which is a trait that the digiex of zero two do you know hold on quick question is that a beard or is that just like ice in the f form of a beard well, I am legit curious, so let me know down in the comments below what you guys know. Rage or what you guys back think. back to Garurumon. Flamedramon calls back to Greymon, kind of. The Digiega of knowledge is related to bugs because of Tentomon. And so while it doesn't have the coloration of the Digiega of reliability, its connection to ice, water, because <laughs> ice is frozen water, and that frozen beard making me think of Vikemon, does to me think, while maybe it's a far from perfect idea, it would work as an armor. Then we move to our Ooh. final three, the three that I actually think do work and should be armor Digimon. 
Digimon. Either it was a missed opportunity or it's something that I think could be added to them to bolster them in this next example, give them Grab something swords, to do. People. Because my third to last is Panbachimon. It's a Panda Beemon. Panbachimon was actually designed by and kind of for Mari Yaguchi, who is a Japanese oh. voice actress, singer, and TV performer. Known quite well for Morning Musume. Mari got to design hmm. and voice Panbachimon oh, on that. her actual birthday, January 19th. So this is all for her. And I love Panbachimon. <laughs> Congrats. It exists in a very similar way, oddly enough, to the Digimon that I talked about that we might never see again. The contest winner Digimon. And Panbachimon was so intrinsically created for Mari Yaguchi that it kind of makes sense that we haven't really seen it since. I think it would be an absolute shoe in for the card game, the V Pets, Digimon Adventure 2020, Ghost Game. But because it is so personal to Miss Yaguchi, it hasn't been seen since. However, goddamn, this thing is a knowledge armor Digimon. <laughs> Champion level Digimon <laughs> have armor Digivolve before. Gatamon did it. I know technically her power level was that of a rookie, which is why she kind of is treated like a rookie throughout Zero Two because she lost her tail ring. But it still remains All the fact that, that a champion level ring. Digimon has armor Digivolve before. So a weakened Pandamon, theoretically, with the Digi Egg of knowledge, could become Panbachimon. It's got a big bamboo shoot too, although that is largely because, you know, <laughs> Panda. But I could see this definitely being a sincerity armor Digivolution too. However, Panbachimon getting that qualifier as a armor Digimon. Like I joked about in the beginning, Fang Wangmon being able to armor purge. Panbachimon being a armor Digivolution in the card game on top of Pandamon. Digivolves from Pandamon <laughs> for zero. Then armor purges down to a level four Pandamon would be really cool when it armor purges. <laughs> I don't know, I just got a soft spot for this little guy. I have almost never heard of armor purging, but if that's a term you created other than back in the beginning, I do have to say that is a pretty damn good idea. All right then, let's continue. And to see him become one of my favorite types of Digivolution would just be fun. But then there's one that truly baffles me, and that is Gardramon Gold, who is not a golden armor Digivolution. It's a champion <laughs> that is able to slide Digivolve from regular Gardramon, <laughs> no problem with that, and can also Digivolve from various Digimon like Solomon, Haguramon, etc., in the Cyber Sleuth collection, and I believe World Next Order too. But from there, it then uses the Digi Egg of Miracles and the Digi Egg of Destiny to become Magnamon and Rapidmon. I just wait, don't really wait. get why. A Gardramon could become a what? gold Gardramon and then needs the Digi Egg of Miracles and Destiny to gold. It's like, it's like that meme of, yo man, I heard you like gold, so we put some gold on your gold so you can be golden while you're golden. What the hell? Golden armor Digivolve again. It's already gold. <laughs> if anything, joke. it should use like the Digi Egg of Dragons and the Digi Egg of Dogs to become Rapid <laughs> and Magnamon. Like, I think it would be cool if Gardramon okay, Gold okay. existed and didn't have to use a Digimantle to become Magnamon and Rapidmon. Kind of hinting at the idea because he already has gold, perhaps gold Digizoid as part of his body, as part of his data, but it's weird that it's like double gold, you're Magnamon now. Oh. Exactly. The Digimon that kicked off this entire list and is probably the thumbnail, Nightmon, who has a very weird distinction of being one of very few Digimon emblazoned with the Crest of Hope. This yeah, is something almost exclusively reserved for the Angemon family, which of course makes mm -hmm. sense because the Angemon family is the partner of TK in the Adventure Canon. And of course, Hope Armor Digimon like Pegasusmon and Sagittariusmon. The only yep, real outliers for this are Digicross right that involve Nightmon like G-Cutemon and Shoutmon Cross 4K. But it's never really been established why Nightmon has the Crest of Hope. The easiest answer I think is that in the Digimon V Tamer manga, Nightmon are servants of Holy Angemon Priest oh. mode and regular Holy Angemon slash Magna Angemon has the Crest of Hope under his helmet because again it's TK's partner in adventure but it's an odd detail that you know, has that persevered throughout the decades and yet has never been addressed even in Nightmon's reference book listing. I think for example it would have been cool if he showed up in Adventure 2020 as an alternate Evo for Angemon rather than just its smaller appearance in the Valkyriemon episode given that oh, Gatomon that cool. did have Dark Nightmon in that series but also yeah it's literally covered in armor and emblazoned with the Crest of Hope if that doesn't scream Hope Armor Digivolution to you, I don't know what else would. But anyway, that's yeah. just some Digimon that I think kind of look like they should be Armor Digimon or could- It's literally Armor with the Crest of Hope on it. It's literally saying, I am an Armor Evolution, but it's not an Armor Evolution be augmented to be on the digital. But shout out to this video sponsor, What's Not. Like I say, if you use my link in the description. Up oh, and it looks like that's going to be the end of it. All right, folks, I, th oh, I thank you all for joining me in today's episode. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Link to the original will be in the description below. And I'll see all you folks next time when we flick on. Peace out.